would first come into the room and identify the patient um, with the wristband that they have and have their name and birth date. And I'd introduce myself. Hi, my name is Seth Langenfader. I'm a Cedarville University nursing student. Today I'm just going to be inserting and discontinuing an IV. Um, could I get your name and date of birth? I got that already. And I would move on to check the, um, excuse me, um, I'd move on and provide privacy for the patient and then um, wash my hands and get ready for the procedure. Okay, uh, next I'm going to just check to see if I can feel a vein. Once I felt one, I'd apply the tourniquet. Um, it's only kept on for two minutes at the most. already. First I would wipe this off and scrub the hub and put it onto the syringe. Um, flush it out. Get the liquid that's inside so that there's no oxygen within the tube. Then um, making sure that I didn't keep this or getting this contaminated, I'd put it back on. Um, and as I insert it, um, I keep the tube up. Some of the sharps continue. Guys, to keep the blood from running out. Next, I would take this and move it, making sure that I did not contaminate it at all. Put this on, and then get my tape ready. That is on now, so that's good to go. And I did forget one thing. I forgot to crack this open and scrub the area for 60 to 90 seconds. Okay. Um, this is good to go, and I would have injected the um, prescribed amount of fluid in from the MVR. Um, now I can take this off. would take this one okay. keep that there. and then clean up my supplies and put everything in the trash that needed to be and then to discontinue it, I would come back in, take off the tape, take the tegaderm off, and then I would get my gauze and make sure to apply pressure on the site, and then slowly pull out and um, inspect the angiocast once I take it out to make sure that there's no um, uh, piece of it breaking off and that could be still inside the vein. And after I've inspected it and it's good, I'd apply pressure for two to three minutes and then um, put a band-aid on after those two to three minutes. Well, okay.